You don't believe me? Go back and check. Am I lying? Any more questions? I'm going once, twice. I'm out of here. Come on. Yes, sir. Question. Yes, brother. Why do you think uh, kind of stuff? Why do you think they're uh, they're teaching this thing to the, the women to be prostitutes and all that kind of stuff? What what benefit is it is it to these hundred families? If you have sisters, if you have sisters like the sisters that we train and the sisters that we work with, and you have enough of them, and they teach the other women because I can't take this sister and teach her. She's a sister. Another sister has to teach her. But I can train her, and she can teach her, and she can teach her, and she, they, you know, Raquel, Raquel knows. We cannot be defeated if our women cannot be defeated. By weakening and prostituting and making our women immoral and sinful and stupid and whores and doing things for money and fame and brainwashing them and making them weak and countering the women's liberation movement, the hundred families retain power. Gandhi. Dr. King, Bob Marley, all these people, they, they reached into our hearts and souls and they told us we're more than that. More shall be expected of us. I have certain gifts. I shared those gifts. And once our women are liberated to the point where they do not buy into the and all these other whores that are glorified, you don't see any shows on TV that, that uh, show Ramona Africa or, or uh, Nina Simone or Aretha Franklin, they have these shows of the lowest, scabbiest women in the universe, and they glorify them as beautiful. Once our women are liberated, they can work on our men because they raise our children. So the best way to weaken our children is weaken the women.